Ah, yes. The new dawn arises. Greetings and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Architecture Review. If you're new to the program, I am Edward Belforth, Professor Emeritus at the Ivy University Graduate School of Architecture. And each week on this program, I provide informed, if admittedly snide, reviews of the classic Greek and Roman architecture recreations that are rendered within the world of Minecraft. Mike Pinella of Mukunji, Pennsylvania, wherever the hell that is, posted to our Facebook page about his quote-unquote epically sweet Acropolis, I assume of Athens, so here we are. And as we approach, there is certainly evidence of the thoughtless deforestation wreaked daily by your typical Minecraft meathead. The lack of site planning knowledge and forethought is certainly a troubling omen, as is the presence of that 8-bit video game character in what appears to be a decapitated Minecraft avatar giant with a beacon sticking out of his head. Ah, yes. But, as we approach, and we'll come down for a landing here, uh, uh, my faith in Mr. Pinella's verisimilitude is certainly restored now that I see the apparent yellow brick road leading up to <clears throat> his uh, Acropolis. Oh wait, I'm being told that it's actually glowstone. Ah uh, yes, as glowstone was abundantly available in ancient Athens. And I see Mr. Pinella has made the typical rookie mistake of confusing the Acropolis, which, by the way, was a collection of buildings with the Parthenon. Big surprise there. And, Mr. Pinella, if you had bothered to learn any Greek in your formative years rather than whiling them away in some video game arcade, you would know that Acropolis literally means Edge City. And, therefore, you should have built this on a rocky outcrop. But then, what do you expect from a guy who has foregone the use of marble to build his columns out of nether quartz? You may have heard of the Ionic and Doric styles of architecture, well, this would be a classic example of the moronic style of architecture. Ah, yes, the horror just continues. This clown has built his Parthenon, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> his Acropolis, on a four-step platform rather than three. Wow, big surprise there. But he actually seems to have gotten a number of pillars correct. Amazing. All right, well, let's go inside and get this over with, shall we? Of course, he has not left enough space between his pillars, so it's almost impossible to walk through, but what would we expect? Ah, yes, it appears Mr. Pinella has seen fit to redesign the finest example of Greek architecture and put in a sunroof. Mm-hmm. And he's lined his treasury room with pillars made out of what appears to be... Ah, yes... It's made of diamond, which of course would make the budget for this construction about $50 trillion in 500 BC money. Okay, well, let's check out the Athena statue and end this horror show. Can't wait to see this. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Uh, and, of course, very freaking funny. You know what? I'm a published author. I don't need this crap. I'm out of here. Tell my agent I quit. Get me out of here. This freaking show is stupid. Oh, great. And now I appear to have fallen down a bottomless mine shaft. This is Edward Belforth, signing off for good.